Hai, Assalamualaikum And salam sejahtera to our beloved lecturer Dr. Mazlana For subject Management and Professional Ethics I am Muhammad Akil Alimin bin Muhammad Ijuan From group Emerald Green Will be presenting our group Which the title is Mini Vacuum Cleaner Okay, so in our slide There will be five main uh, chapter or content Which is First, introduction Second, methodology Third, the flow of the project Fourth, recommendation and improvement And lastly, conclusion Okay, before before we start, let me introduce our group and team organization layout and their role in this project. Okay, first is the leader, which is Akil. Okay, what is leader? Leader have plenty of uh, responsibility to manage the strategy, leading of uh, scheduling to goal setting and building moral and mentoring uh, for our group members. Project, project leaders are tasked uh, to deal with very function and the most communicate person in our group members. So in this group, I have to make uh, effort and to make an effective and to make this project successful. Okay, second. Second, Arbitran as secretary. His role in this project uh, is to be a guardian of the process of Meeting. Uh, he is the one who makes the arrangement for the meetings. So, Pabitran is the only person who in charge in setting the date uh, of the meeting and make sure that all group members are available due to the meeting dates. He is also the one who managed to record all our data that have been discussed in each meeting and keep the record of the group. Uh, of the group process in order to complete the mini meeting okay uh, the third one is Ashan Muhammad he his role in this layout is treasurer or more like managing financing okay finance okay the, the role of Ashan is to account for the money that have been received and uh, spent around the and that has been spent around this project he is the one who responsible to ensure that all the money that have been spent and received were list uh, were listed in the correct manner and up to and up to date as well he is also the reliable to find the ways on how to manage uh, Spending the cost even better and efficiency during this PKP uh, during this PKP sphere. Okay. The third one is Anas Baharin uh, and Cassandra. The, uh, they their role is project maker. Okay, the project maker were the responsible for a nice flow of the project and have a capability to fabricate the method uh, in order to complete the project. Okay, they also lead and manage the project members where they have to make sure that the project run in current manner. They also develop the project plan with the team and manage the team's performance of our project task because this is it is important for choosing the project in a control manner but as recently the pandemic COVID-19 occurred we decide to choose only one member who will be fully in charge in fabrication and the other one is to assist in giving information on what's the good and or the bad to fulfill the specification needs okay let's start with the introduction <coughs> we have been given a task to implement project management into our existing project from other subject uh, or course. So we have to to create a mini vacuum cleaner from subject uh, info 
I'm sorry, from subject lukisan kuju tu an. Okay. So we create a prototype which need to fill up the needs a uh, customer where they have uh, an idea to create a mini vacuum cleaner. So in order to make this project successful, we have followed these three steps to start the project. First, analysis. Second, making a decision decision uh, based on the analysis that we have been made. Okay, and lastly, budget development, which is uh, more financing. Okay, these steps will be explained in our next slide by our next presentation. I mean, presenter. Okay, uh, that's all for me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Cassandra from Tobinan M. Okay, I will present about my summary for our group ethic project. Okay, so our, our idea is to create a prototype of mini vacuum cleaner. There are three main steps to create a perfect mini vacuum cleaner. The steps starting from analysis followed by make decision and budget development as well. In analysis step where they have to identify the step, the system where it defines as voltage, current, force, and acceleration. This criteria need to be considered when come to analysis stage. The analysis stage need to be as a group work. It is important to have a group work. This is because where it is increased the learn cooperation and also teamwork as well with the help of technology. It's followed by make and buy decision. This will be most important step on creating a new project. This is because they have to plan before doing something where there are many projects are being failed because of miscommunication from the team. So that the group member wish that we are planning one by one to produce a group project. By doing this kind of discussion intends to increase the communication skill and, profession and professionalism around us. Next. Be the budget development where they will have to calculate the cost they need to use in road to complete this project. It's important we uh, like we decided and plan for our project so that uh, our project will never overflow. Cash of eh, budget overflow. Okay. Uh, they Their calculation can be made in many ways with categorized as direct cost, indirect cost, sunk cost, capital cost as well. The discussion made it all way to determine the budget development. This is because it's, it's made to prevent from cash overflow. Yeah, like I said just now, it's prevent from the cash overflow. And the budget development made which is RM for 25 ringgit for our project. And the duration also need to be considered in order to the workflow be steady and neat. The duration in discussion made by 60 days where you have to produce a successful project. Next is our score for our project ethic. We have two scores for this project. That is, first is used to follow of ethical management in making our project successfully to achieve our goal. And then second is be able to finish up the project with the help of technology management. Okay, next is our objective for our project ethic. We have three objectives for our project. First is to enable the group member understanding their role in a role to complete the project successfully. Second is be able to become professional in the way of ethic to finish up the project. And then third is be able to manage the project successfully with finding solution for obstacle to completing project. All of the using all of our objectives we have successfully achieved from what we have done for our project. Okay. That's all for my presentation. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Anas bin Baharin and now I will proceed about methodology section. We have three main steps in methodology which is uh, the first one is planning and the second one is making and the third one is finishing. Before we go through in each 
three main steps. I will explain about the methodology. What is the methodology? Methodology is the method section of uh, an analysis details on how the research was conducted. And also, uh, how the research uh, method used and also the uh, also the reasons for choosing those methods. Okay, and now we can proceed to the planning section. Okay, we have uh, five steps that we use in planning, which is uh, the number one is brainstorming. Brainstorming in order to generate ideas between group members, which is we we make a discuss and we give, uh, for example, and each members uh, need to give two or more ideas in the discussion. And then the second one is we evaluate the ideas right after brainstorming process where we elaborate each idea that we have discussed in the brainstorming stage and then number three is risk identification uh, in elva el evaluating process uh, we also use to discuss the risk identification uh, what what will happen if we do this what will happen if we do that and then the risk identification process be one of the most important process that need to be considered so this is the most important because we could know we also could plan what happen after we we use this step or we use this idea and then we could solve the problem more easy and we could handle it more easy so number four collecting data gather and measure the information on variable of interest in accepted that make to procedure to a successful project so after all we discuss uh, we make a discuss through online meeting or uh, discussion online discussion so we manage to collect data all the data that we have evaluate or elaborate then we proceed to the selecting design which is the number five step number five is selecting design three steps to make our design become more accurate with the specification needs so there's uh, five steps where that we have used in planning session we proceed to the steps number two which is making in making steps, we used to classify uh, in two group of the steps, which is a race duration to finish the project and finalize specification needs. Okay, for a race duration to finish the project, we have scheduled the procedure timing through online meeting and discussion. The person who is in charge will make the list the type of schedule basically includes uh, a gun chart with the help of microsoft project as well so for, for the finalized specification needs we started to make an initial draft for the project where the draft has met all the problem solver uh, which is we continuous with receive input and have requirement of customers it followed by send the production for final review and finalize the pro deliver deliver product when we 
once we have done all the process of the product so that's all for making and then we proceed to the finishing okay for the finishing this stage is where we manage to complete the fabrication fabrication of the project and also make a working test on the project whether the course achieve or not so uh, that's all for methodology uh, three main step in methodology and i will pass to pavitran to continue about the the gun chart of the project hello i'm poitran here today i want to present about the flow of the project with the help of gun chart where it made by the microsoft project for our project which is the mini vacuum projects where it take the duration around 50 days for these projects these are the 50 days took for these projects and then there we have divided some phases to make our project even easier for example there are initiation phases and definition phase and then planning phase and then implementation phase and then deployment phase and then closing phase okay there are divided phase there are also some duration which are divided for each play, each phases that we have done next next here is the table uh, for where we use a reference for doing a gun charts first we start as initiation phase where we discuss about to conclude the project by understanding the needs this is the phase where we all come with each idea to make discussions on it we also make budget development for this project to prevent the cash being overflow this phase took around eight days second we had moved to definition phase where it took around 10 days to complete it in this phase we had discussed about the project goals scopes and the flow of the projects here were the pla platform to select our roles to for this project and also discuss about the communication channel as well this communication channel be the major part when the pandemic COVID-19 ruled the world. Next, we are moving to planning phase, which took around 9 days to complete it. In planning phase, we have discussed on complete the project with easy way so that we had built work breakdown structure. This is because it helped to break the work into small and can visualize easily throughout this technique. Here also, we had developed the project schedule where to make professional and also finish up the task with the time given. And then we had moved to implementation phase which took around 8 days. In this phase, we had checked to the task that has been done before this. This phase also where the project prototype has been completed that has listed in the table as system build. Next. After implementation phase, we had moved to deployment phase which took around 8 days as well. Here we have, we have tried the projects that has been done which is mini vacuum where it categorized have start using here also we had made some changing on prototype after identifying the problem after the problems and the defects be overcome we had tried again to be better function where it categorized as user training 
where it gives training to the prototypes to make it better functions. Then lastly, we move to closing phase, which took around nine days to complete it. Here, where we had summarized the projects and the reports, all the things and the defect all be overcome after it been rechecked again, it been hand over the project to our lecturer. It's been hand over the projects. It took around three days where it complete all the data and so on. Then next. Here is the gun chart that made from Microsoft projects to visualize easily the way flow of the projects. Where it started with the initiation phase, which from 18th, 8th March 2020 until 17th March 2020. In this phase, we had discussed the budget for our project. And then we have to move to definition phase, where it from starting from 18th March 2020 until 31st March 2020. In this phase, we have discussed about the members and their roles for these projects and also the most importantly about the communication channel that we conclude to communicate each other which is the Google Meet application. And then we have moved to the planning phase where the planning phase which from 1st April 2020 until 13 April 2020. In this phase, we have discussed the way of flow of the projects and also we have developed a schedule for our projects. And then we have moved to implementation phase where it from 13th April until 20th April 2020. In this phase, we have executed a project plan to be better function and also the system has been built in this phase of the projects. Then next, we have moved to the deployment phase where it started from 20th April until 4th May 2020. In this phase, we start using our prototype which is the mini vacuum and we do testing to be better function whether it have defect or not and also study about the defect and do research do researchers to overcome it and then the lastly we move to closing phase which is from 4th may until 14th may 2020 in here we summarize all the reports and data that we have go, been through is and then we check again the defects and lastly we hand over the projects to our lecturer. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to our Dr. Norma Zilana binti Ma'in. My name is Ashraf Muhammad bin Azman from Group Emirate Green. So for the final presentation of the final report, I will presenting to you about the recommendation and improvement of the project and the conclusion of the project. So for the recommendation and improvement, this stage is kindly for conclusion actually. With the overall incomes and outcome of the project, we are beneficially to get the recommendation of an innovation and improvement. So, the recommendation that can be made by understanding their rules effectively and the communication need to be more precise. This is because the role of the communication channel are major criteria of for a project. The ethics and moral value also should be considered where it categorized in integrity. Cooperation and able to analyze the problem. So, 
Next, we go to the conclusion of the project. So, for the conclusion part is the project where it is called as Mini Vacuum Cleaner has successfully done within the frame time given. There are many criteria needs that will fulfill in order to complete this project successfully. One of it where in the way member holds their values in order to complete this project where they give in their maximum cooperation and hardworking individual in order to complete a successful project. So our group member are always finding solution whenever they meet an obstacle. They try to solve, they tend to analyze the problem and finding the way to overcome it. They also not forget to do their roles in the project. This is because all members are important to adhere here. Their roles in order to complete their project successfully. Moreover, moral value also should be uh, considered whenever it comes to a group work or individual work as well. This is because the attitude of the individual member leads to a successful or the failure of the project. An ethical code is a listing of principal values and aspiration based on desire conduct the project and performing in a group work. So, uh, teamwork is uh, important or determination of the group member is important to do the project successful. So, I think that's all from us presenting to you about our final project report. And we from Group Emerald Green want to thank to the Dr. Norma Zelana Binti Ma'in and stay safe. Stay home, doctor. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.